That's <laughs> like crazy. I'm just y'all like kill a fly with fire. Well, what is that? It's just daddy being crazy. Move out, Nana. Don't you dare. <laughs> How's the weather up there? No, not a very much. Oh, garlic butter margarita is ready. Well, that was a wonderful order. Five pizzas on a Wednesday afternoon. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. Yeah. To my love, Stuart Uppy. Happy birthday. Oh, shit. Oh. Quite an impressive menu they got here. Mm. What? No, we need more. One more? It's never Mommy. enough. Mommy, eat it all. Yeah, we're going to eat it all. Honestly, this is like good price Lots and delicious food. So nice. How's the broth? Is it good? Uh, is it so good? Ah, uh, 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 bro. To it. Indian tradition is everyone takes a, like a little bite of that same piece of cake. Oh. Well, why should I do an Indian tradition on my mm -hmm. You want to do a coconut tradition and take all your clothes off and say, ooh, ooh banana? <laughs> you sliced it so well. I was thinking, how the hell to slice this cake? It's so big. <laughs> and it's like everyone gets a little bit of icing. How do they get that gradient so well? I don't know, but I want that part with all the icing. Uh, <laughs> you could have said it. I did. 
Well, he's off the cover. I'm laying down in bed, absolutely exhausted. Oh, what a day. What a beautiful blessing to be able to take up Stuart and the kids and I to the restaurant and to actually buy a birthday cake. We've been struggling for so long and I guess it's nice to have some money finally to be able to do these little things every now and then. My gratitude is all to God and to my beautiful customers. You guys are so cute. I'm so glad somebody's buying my pizza. I'm so glad that we are doing so well in the main island compared to in AOI, which every day was a hungry struggle. Gosh, but we made it. We made it here and life is long. Well, hopefully it is for me too. I've just been so sick, but the medicine that I've got is actually slowing down my heart rate, but it's definitely not enough of a dosage because my heart starts racing back up again. I just need to lose weight and get healthy mentally and physically. I've been so emotional for so long and been on this like you know self-defense mode for so long trying to look after myself and the children in Aowa Island with an abusive uncontrollable moron always stalking and harassing and causing so much fear and just got on a constant adrenaline rush the whole time I was there having to do so much and to survive through every day while struggling to make money to put food on the table it was just a lot and now I'm finally in a place where I can sleep when I'm tired and I can relax when I want to relax and I can buy something when I'm hungry and you know I've just I've just gotten out of that situation and it's been a long time coming but I knew God would make a shift in the events of my life as always I just stayed put doing my best trying to stay true to who I was and now it's all over and now I have a beautiful beautiful new life even though it's also a struggle and there's so many things that I wish that I had, my health is a priority. So I've been on this like, you know, self-defense mode for so long, trying to look after myself and the children in Aowa Island with an abusive, uncontrollable moron, always stalking and harassing and causing so much fear and just got on a constant adrenaline rush the whole time I was there, having to do so much and to survive through every day while struggling to make money to put food on the table. It was just a lot and now I'm finally in a place where I can sleep when I'm tired and I can relax when I want to relax and I can buy something when I'm hungry and you know, I've just, I've just gotten out of that situation and it's been a long time coming but I knew God would make a shift in the events of my life as always. I just stayed put, doing my best, trying to stay true to who I was and now it's all over. And now I have a beautiful, beautiful new life. Even though it's also a struggle and there's so many things that I wish that I had, my health is a priority. So dear God, help me to battle the demons that I'm facing internally and physically. Please help me to rise out of my bed with a burst of energy every single day. Please forgive me for any of my wrongs, ones that I know and ones that I'm not aware of. Dear God, please help me pursue happiness and strength with courage and fierce determination to survive all of the outcomes that all of the obstacles that the devil is trying to put in my way to slaughter my progress dear god please forgive me for everything i love you and i love all that you have blessed me with thank you dear god for the roof on our heads for my beautiful children please help me to be dear god i do not fear death i am a vessel and i pray that you use me if it is my longevity that you allow then i will say thank you and if it is a short demise I will accept it. I just want my children to be happy. So please, dear God, help me to be able to remain here for them as they are still little and they still need me. But dear God, I will not pray for my life. I just want you to take me when you need me and to forgive me for all my wrongs so that I may secure a place in heaven and that my children will be safe when I do pass on. Dear God, I've been feeling so unwell, but thank you for giving me the step and the strength and the push to go to the doctors and actually get some attention and some medicine. Please help me, dear God, to make better choices in my life, to stay calm, to stay with a cool mind and to be a better person. Dear God, thank you for every single blessing. I'm so overwhelmed by all that you've blessed me with. Please, dear God, help me disperse the cloud of evil that hovers over me and riddles me with sickness, riddles me with doubt riddles me with ingratitude, riddles me with lethargic, unmotivated lack of energy. Dear God, please help me jump out of bed with a smile. And I do appreciate every single day, even if my actions do not show it. 
Please help me to stop begrudging moments that involve living. Please help me to not wish away any moments and to enjoy every second and every aspect of every single day.